comes here. It is said that the house is dull and cold when she is absent. You can say what you want, brothers. Children, you can say what you want. I'm tired of her. I'm sick of this. I don't care how much she fusses about you keeping the house in order. Just let her be gone long enough. Then the house will fall apart. First lady, I said, I ain't never letting her go to no dog on women's feet no more. We'll come out for a whole week and left me with Trey out of the yard. They spent all of my money. I heard them plotting on me. Trey out was real. Yeah, yeah, you can get it. I heard them. I'm sitting over there because you know, you don't know, maybe trying to get some insurance money or something. You don't know. So I'm just sitting over there. Tell Dad you won't go to that diamonds. <laughs> And she went off. One time, first lady got her and took a ride, and Leonie said, Look what you did. Who gonna do my hat? Don't talk. She remembered that experience she had with that. I don't care how she fusses or get on your nerves. I don't care how she, she talks. When she's not there, she's missed. It's getting pretty quiet in here. Look at somebody and say, we'll be all right. I get what you brothers are saying. I don't need no woman. I hear you giving the Bible. The Bible said it's better to be on a rooftop than in the house with a brother and woman. That's true, brothers. But if you ever get a real woman, Somebody said, if you ever get a real woman, I promise you, you will never want to be without one. I ain't getting no help with other people. Yeah. 
help me. Y'all ain't talking here because she came in and she filled and brought balance to where there was none. Some of us, we don't want to hear a woman. But God has put something in her to bring balance to the world. Look at somebody's name. I know that's right. I know that's right. You didn't know anything. You didn't know how to do nothing to You came in contact with a real woman. First Corinthians 11, the latter clause of verse 8 says, For as much as he is the image in the glory of God, but the woman is the glory of the man. For the man is not of the woman, but the woman of the man. Verse 9. Neither was the man created for the woman, but the woman for the man. All through scripture we see the role that she plays as a gift to the world. She is used to carry seed within her. And within a woman are warriors and inventors and kings and queens and presidents. The Bible says, come on, the Bible when it talks about wisdom, it don't call wisdom a he, it call wisdom a her. What I'm trying to do is help you win. Well, I'll get to tell you, baby, get tight, but it'll be alright in the end. Go on, say the same, let's get a little tight here. But tell me it's going to be alright in the end. Because what I'm finding out is that most women don't know who they are, and by the time they find out, they're so scarred and so old, it's too late. Yeah. You're too concerned about your time clock clicking for a husband or for a companion, and there's nothing wrong with that, but focus more on God, who is the supplier of all your needs. Man will fail you, but God will never leave you nor forsake you. He calls wisdom of her. Life lies within her. And if she is foolish, she can, she is so powerful that even if she's foolish, she can tear a house down. But a wise woman builds up a house. Within her is the ability to, to calm you or set you ablaze. Nobody can get your door quicker than your, your mother or your wife. You can be right, and when she get through, you thought you were, you, 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 you know what, maybe she is right. 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 You brothers ain't saying nothing, I done lost all my eight ass from the brothers. She can motivate her child to become. She can push her 